Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are doing well. Today we are taking again the Boeing 737-800 Virgin Australia, also called Velocity, service from Brisbane over to Melbourne. It is currently dark outside, however, that will change in about an hour. So we should be able to if we're on time and in about 30 minutes we should expect to get out of the gate or get out of the stand here. And then uh, another 30 minutes after that, so about a taxi and a takeoff, we should be able to see a beautiful sunrise. We'll see if we can catch that in time. Um, I think this is the first video I've I've ever made in Australia. So uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy and uh, let's get into it, shall we? So first things first, we're gonna start. Let's get set up. FS the crew, of course. We're gonna set up some lights. I'm gonna set it dim. Put some panel lights. His as well, even though he's. I think he will do it too, but it's okay, I'll do it for him. For now. I'm up for the walk around. So do the initial test when we first arrive in the, the flight deck. Oxygen three green, EC is on, everything is good. Here as well, three green. Perfect, do a light test. Alright. And our Recall is checked so we can cancel that out. Next up, flaps are up indicating checked, checked, the weapon fake is good. Breaking brake set, engine oil quantities are fine and hydraulic quantities are fine as well. Now I'm gonna go and set up flight and speaker and uh, everything else is fine here. I'm also gonna check the gravity gear extension and uh, we're fine here. Next up, we'll set up our fuel. So today's uh, fuel is going to be 10.1. It's at 10,100. And then we're going to do auto services. Um, set en route. None. Stairs 1 and 2. Key plane 0. Unload 0. And passengers, we are 114. And load we will 607, 6200, 6300 will do. Okay, and this should start. Perfect. So, go to Daylink, A cars, pre flight. Today we're serviced from Brisbane to Melbourne. Estimated time on route will be 2 hours and 10. Zero velocity 222 alpha, as per usual, which is VA in short. We're expecting to, to depart 90, no, sorry, 2035 Zulu. The A car synced, and we'll go to the FMC and request the route. Velocity 222 Alpha. Runway today 01 right. Departure's arrival 01 right. And our departure. I can show you guys the uh, iPad here. So our departure is the SCSO 1. By a SANIC. Arrival will be the ILS 27 and the approach is Arbake 6 Alpha on ILS 27 Zulu and via VSAS. Let's take a look. Yes, we'll enter that as well. Let's check the departure um, in a second here. So, first, we're going to put in what we expect. So, we expect a 10.1 throw fuel weight and we're expecting to have 61.1. 
Us next 30. Transition out to 10,000. Cruise level 340. Which gives us a deviation of about plus 5, it looks like. So we'll do minus 40, uh, 47. Cruise winds. Oh, it's plus 6, so minus 46. And uh, 279, 100. Pretty strong winds down here in Australia, I've noticed. Alright, so that is set up. Um, we're going to go to fixed information and check our charts here. So, see, so departure. Uh, we're expecting a direct a direct to um, a CISO, which we can actually check right now. Might as well check the flight, uh, the SID for now. We'll check the flight plan later. So CISO, POTOV with a uh, max 250 knot, uh, or CISO was max 250 knots. POTOV with 5,000 or above. Again, another 250 at Sugar. Then SANIC. That checks out. We're going to go and activate next speed changes. We're going to go wind request. And check for fixes that we could possibly get, which I don't think there is. Go and load the data in. Sorry, I just realized you guys didn't see that. Alright, so we got the wind data. Um, and everything is pretty much set up. We don't need to set anything in the fix. What we also could do is set our alternates. Our alternates here uh, are Yankee Hi, Mike Alpha Victor. Hi, water bottles for you. The security and safety checks are complete. Are we okay to start boarding? Yes. Go for it. Thanks. Clear to board. Okay. Yankee Sierra Charlie Bravo. Yankee Mike Nima Tango. And Yankee Mike Hotel Bravo. Going to our progress, we only need 111 nautical miles, so we'll keep it at Econ. Cruise will keep at Econ and Descent. Um, we'll keep it 2 power 0. Additional altitude also 10,000. We'll set that in right there. Okay. Okay, I'm back from the walk around. Everything looks good. I'll do our pre flights. One half can be armed. We, we're actually expecting 5,000 initially, so we'll put 5,100. And our initial heading for departure is 016. So 016. And we can also expect the ILS-1 right in case of a return. We are overweight, so we will need to burn off fuel um, in case we do get an engine failure or anything like that. So this is all set up. Initialize the flight. Check our oxygen. All looks good. Okay, uh, TCAS off, everything is fine here, FMA is pretty much clear, but we speed is normal. I'll check the flight but in a moment, once he's ready. But one, two, two, ah. I have this, I've had this glitch before. Um, I think what I did is pressed Y for a brief moment, but we don't need radios anyways. Yeah, there he is. Now it's fixed. So if you guys ever have stuck radios, just press uh, slew key twice real quick. So you'll go into slew mode once and then exit out of slew mode again. And then it should fix it. I'm glad I figured that out once. So we don't have any... Um, don't have uh, any... VORs here. We don't need to tune in any VORs. But for our ILS... Like I said, we have a course of 1.6 and a frequency of 109.5. We'll put 109.5 in standby. 
again, in case we need to return. Also gonna set up his radio because he doesn't do a good job. And uh Elrond Shrim works. Works. Rodrim works and is centered. Go ahead and set my gain up a little bit, his gain up as well. And uh yeah, we're pretty much ready to rock and roll. I'm gonna sit, check the flight plan. And uh, we're gonna step through it together. So So, Iskeem, Cardi, Gizmo, PKS, Pozo, Arena, Canty, and so on and so forth. Okay, looks good. Quite slow. Wind shear, wind shear, wind shear, terrain, terrain, pull up, sink rate, pull up, terrain, pull up, don't sink, don't sink, too low, terrain, too low, gear. Pre-flight checklist. Pre-flight checklist, oxygen. Tested 100%. Tested 100%. Navigation transfer and display switches. Normal, auto. Window heat, on. Pressurization mode selector, auto. Flight instruments. Heading 228. Altimeter 1022 set. Heading 228. Altimeter 1022. Parking brake. Set. Engine start levers. Set off. Pre-flight checklist complete. Are you ready for the departure brief? Go ahead. Any questions? No questions. Hi guys, here's a load sheet for you. Thanks. No problem, have a safe flight. So we got a reserve fuel at 58.2. And we're gonna get a reserve, we have a reserve of 2.6. Execute. The route we can expect take off the rate two. Nope, one. Do the rate one. Now we'll go to performance. Take off one, flaps five, AC on, anti is off, condition dry. Copy of MC data. Do 68, 100. Wins. Temperature of 33, plus 5, EG is set, D1141. Shall we start the APU? Go for it. Starting APU. 142, and 149er. Put 149er in here, and we're ready to go. Progress page 103, we've got even less now. Line. Good cruise, 0.783, full descent, 0.78, and top descent is in about 673 nautical miles, minus 103, about 570 miles after we reach our top of cruise. Passengers are seated. Thanks. Thanks. See you out there. Can we pressurize the hydraulics? Roger, you're clear to pressurize the hydraulics. 
four star procedure. Check. Set a trim of 5.1. Hello, Captain. We are ready for pushback. Here we go. Four star checklist. Four star checklist. Flight deck door closed and locked. MCP. V2149, heading 016. Altitude 5,000 feet. Set and checked. Takeoff speeds. V1141, VR142. V2149 set. CDU pre flight. Completed. Rudder and ale run trim. Three and zero. Taxi and takeoff briefing. Completed. Anti collision light on. Before start checklist completed. Departure check completed. Bypass pin inserted. Release parking brake. Commencing push. All engines clear. Start at will. Start engine two. Starting two. Set parking brakes. Starter cutout. Start engine one. Waiting your confirmation Starting for one. good engine start. We now start. request your full attention as the flight attendants demonstrate the safety features of this aircraft. When the seatbelt sign illuminates, you must fasten your seatbelt. Insert the flat metal clip to the buckle and pull in the loose of the straps and tighten it up. To release your seatbelt, lift the upper portion of the buckle. We suggest that you keep your seatbelt fastened throughout the flight as we may experience turbulence. There are several emergency exits on this aircraft. Two forward, two aft, and two over each wing. Please take a moment to locate the exit nearest you. In some cases, the exit may be behind you. If we need to evacuate the aircraft, floor-level lighting will guide you towards the exit. Doors can be opened by moving the handle in the direction of the air of the child. Or cut out. someone who requires assistance, secure your mask on first and then assist that other person. Keep your mask on until an uniformed crew member advises you to remove it. In the event of an emergency, please assume the bracing position. Lean forward with your hands on top of your head and your elbows against your thighs. Ensure your feet are flat on the floor. A light vest is located in a pouch under your seat or between the armrest. When instructed to do so, open the plastic pouch and remove the vest. Flip it over your Lapse head. Five. Press the straps around Lapse your waist five. and adjust Lapse the control front. To inflate the Ready. vest, pull firmly on the red cord only on the aircraft. If you need to well refill the vest, blow into the mouthpiece. Left. Use the whistle and light to attract right. attention. Tow truck disconnected. Light pass pin removed. All right. Pull the cushion from the seat. Flip light control the check complete. And hug the cushion to your chest. We remind you that this is a non-smoking flight. Tampering with, disabling, or destroying the smoke detectors located in the laboratories is prohibited by law. 
You will find this and all other safety information in the card located in the seat pocket. Four taxi underneath. checklist. We strongly suggest you read Four taxi the checklist. Generator reflected on the right area. Anti ice. Off. Isolation life. valve. Auto. Engine start switches. Continuous. Recall. Checked. Checked. Auto brake. RTO. Engine start levers. Auto detent. Flight controls. Check. Ground equipment. Clear. Clear. Before taxi checklist complete. Take off. Check. Thrust set. Eighty knots. Right. Flaps one. Flaps one. Flaps up. Flaps up. Thousand eleven. That's flight level three four zero. After takeoff checklist. After takeoff checklist. Engine bleeds. On. Packs. Auto. Landing gear. Up and off. Flaps. Up. No lights. After takeoff checklist complete. Flight level three four zero set.
Cabin crew, take your seats. Final approach fix, height checked. This approach altitude is not set. Gear down, flaps 15. Gear down, flaps 15. Twenty five flaps twenty five plus thirty flaps thirty third check. Landing checklist. Landing checklist. Engine start switches. Continuous. Speed brake. Armed. Check. Armed. Landing gear. Down. Flaps. 30 green light. Landing checklist complete. Five hundred feet. Stable. Approaching minimums. Minimums. Ground visible. Ending. Check. Break up. Reversers normal. Sixty knots. Auto brake disarmed.
Cabin crew, disarm doors and cross check. Doors disarmed, APU on the bus. Copy the ground. Go ahead. Please connect the GPU. Shut down checklist. Shut down checklist. Fuel pumps off. Probe heat off. Hydraulic panel set. Flaps up. Parking brake set. Engine start levers cut off. Weather radar off. Off. Shut down checklist complete. All right. Our planned flight time was supposed to be two hours and ten minutes. We made it with two hours and twenty-seven minutes. Our arrival time. Should have been, let's see here, 2310 Zulu. It is currently 23 Zulu. So we are 10 minutes early, even though we flew 10 minutes later, which means we definitely departed a bit early um, in uh, in uh, Brisbane. All right, so you can see that on PMDG, or the, the ground services of PMDG are unloading everything. Now you might ask yourself, why am I using PMDG um, loaders and things like that? And that's for the very good reason that I like real-time uh, simulation and I like it when it actually boards. Um, kind of like FS Labs with GSX where if you use GSX with the FS Labs it actually boards your passengers in real time and uh, cargo as well as well as fuel and I like that feature and PMDG only does that if you use its own auto function. So uh, it's it's not bad you know it's it's, it's alright it, it does its job and it's, it's cool to have real uh, real-time loading as well as you know not the perfect zero you wait every single time so to speak um, yeah so yeah that is the end of today's uh, video. I hope you guys enjoyed the flight. I thought it was an absolutely gorgeous flight. Very nice landing. Um, it was a solid landing. Um, definitely wasn't buttery smooth, but to be fair, it can't couldn't have been. It was a perfect by the book landing. Um, right in the touchdown zone, perfectly center line, pretty much, if I remember correctly. And for such a short runway, um, it was pretty smooth. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with myself. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know, and we'll see you guys all in the next video. Until then, have yourselves a wonderful rest of the day. Until then, peace.